Welcome back to N3 Electro Technology. And in this lesson, we'll be converting decimal to binary where there is a comma inside the decibel number. So the decimal number we're dealing with is 5, 4375. Now we have two tables. The first table we'll be dealing with is the whole number 5. I have three columns, the divisor, the dividends, and the remainder. When we read the remainder, we read from the bottom of the column going up. The dividend is 5 and the divisor is 2. 2 will go into 5 twice, remainder 1. I can double check my answer by working one step backwards. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the remainder of 1 will give me 5. Right, the divisor of 2 will go into 2 how many times? Once, remainder 0. The divisor of 2 cannot go into 1, therefore it's going to be 0, remainder 1. When we read the answer, we read from the bottom going up, therefore the answer is 1, 0, 1, comma. Now to deal with the second part of the decibel number. And now we have 0, comma, 4, 3, 7, 5. Now before we go into this calculation, where the line is, just imagine that there is an imaginary comma. And also imagine that when we type the value into our calculator, that there is an imaginary zero in front of the comma. However, this column is used for the remainder. And when we read the answer, we read from the top going down to the bottom. Right, let's get started. Make sure you've got your calculator so that you can practice this with me. So in our calculator, we say 0, 0,4375 multiply by 2. And that gives us an answer of 0, 0,875. Now, fortunately, we have a 0 in our calculator. So once again, we say 0, 0,875 multiply by 2. And if we type that into our calculator, we get an answer of 1,75. Now, we must ignore the remainder. And in our calculator, we must say 0, 0,875 multiply by 2. And 0, 0,75 multiply by 2 gives us an answer of 1,5. Once again, we must ignore that side of the column because that is our answer. Inside our calculator, we say 0, 0,5 multiply by 2, and that gives us 1. And we are finished. There's nothing else left to calculate. Now, when we read the answer, we read from the top going down. Therefore, the remainder of the binary number, it'll be 0, 1, 1, 1. And we use a small 2 to represent that this is a binary number. Once again, thanks for watching these videos. And please remember to hit that like button to share these videos. And yeah, leave a comment if you're happy with the content I'm making. Thank you.